What's up guys? Welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we are continuing our series on how to make a tank game and today we will be looking at how to add different types of tanks. So there's one that can go fast which is the color yellow and there the normal ones which are red and there are slow ones that are orange. So this is what we are going to be making today and it's going to be a lot of code so yeah. So without further ado let's get started. So here we are from last time and first let's go into our enemy tank sprite and what we need to do is add some costumes. So we are going to cost this costume red and I have some costumes for my backpack. It's yellow and orange. So, what we need to do is go and make a variable called enemy tank type. Oh, and make sure to make it for this sprite only. So, I forgot to do that. So, click for this sprite only and then click OK. And then next, what we need to make is um, yeah, enemy tank type. Let's we're going to make a new one later, okay. So over here when I say when I receive play game, we're going to also we're going to over here switch costume to pick random one, two, three because we have three costumes. And we're gonna say if costume number equals equals one, then we are going to Go to variables and make our set our enemy tank type to red because that is our red costume. And when the green flag is clicked, let's set enemy tank type to blank. So, first, let's duplicate this and we can take that out and make sure to change this to two and also change this to um. If then we're going to change this to yellow. And then finally, let's duplicate that one more time. And instead, we need to change this to orange, like that. So, and then let's go into the when I start as a clone. And over here, let's say if. Let's get an equals sign and let's say if enemy tank type is equal to red, then we are going to move two steps. So we want the different types to move at different speeds. So let's duplicate this, but let's take that out. So if enemy type tank type is equal to yellow, we want to move fast, so let's say 5. And we want to the orange ones to move slow. So let's say 0 0.5. Okay, so that is right now done. And as you can see, if we run it now, there should be different t color tanks that go at different type of speeds. So it's like that. And one thing you need to, you might notice is that the enemy tanks, they go on, once they reach the player, they sort of glitch a bit. And what we need to do is change to not to move ten step, two steps. We actually need to change X by two. So you, you have to replace them. Like, because we don't want it to glitch. And that's not good. So that's 5, and then this is 0 0.5. So now... Oh yeah, it needs to be negative because we're going to the left, not to the right. So this would be negative 5, and then this would be negative 0 0.5. So now if we run it... 
So that one is going fast, and this one is going normal speed, and these are going slow. So yeah. As you can see, um, oh yeah, these are shooting bullets. I thought they weren't, but they were. Okay, so next what we need to do is make the enemy tanks to die. And that will we need to make a new variable called enemy tank lives. And make sure it's for this sprite only. So let's set enemy tank lives to zero. Like that. And then over here, one is over here in these if statements. So we will drag all of these in here. And if cost of number is equals one, then set enemy tank lives to two. And over here, set enemy tank lives to five or to one. And over here, this this will be five. So now it's just changing the lives. So now what we need to do is say, when I start as a, actually we can put it over here, I guess. Let's say if touching bullets, you want to, actually we can't because we need to put a weight, so no. So let's drag in another when I start as a clone and say forever if touching bullets. We sort of want the enemy to flash. So we are going to set our brightness effect to 30 and then we're going to like wait. I'm going to say 0 0.01 second and then set our brightness back to 0. And then finally, let's change our enemy tank lives by minus one. And we need to put, oh, wait, zero seconds over here. But inside this if, forever, in if statement, we're going to say if lives, enemy tank lives is less than one, which is zero or below, we want them to die. So delete this clone. And finally, let's go over here. Let's duplicate this. We can get rid of that show. I want to say if forever if touching enemy tank, then we're going to wait zero seconds and delete this clone. So now let's first hide the variables from on the screen. So now the enemy tanks can die, and all of them can die actually. So and they each have different lives. So yeah, that's exactly what we want. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.